Hello, and welcome back to Deep Sea Learning with Georgia Aquarium and our education department. Once again, my name is Matt, and I'm here to talk to you guys today about elemental water, part two. So last time we talked a bit about what water is and why we test it. Today, we're gonna to cover a little bit more about how we test it. So we use a variety of different uh, technologies to study this and make sure that everything is in those optimal ranges, like I said last time. One of the things we do is going to be high performance liquid chromatography. This is a machine that we use with our veterinarian team to make sure medicines in our water are at the appropriate levels when we're treating our animals. One of the other machines we use is spectrophotometers. What this machine does is you add a reagent or something that's going to have that chemical reaction and it will give it a specific color. A beam of light will then go through it and measure how intense that color is. We do this when looking for specific compounds. So that beam will tell us based on the intensity of the color, how much that compound will be in that sample of water. So we use the spectrophotometer to find things like ammonia, but we can also use it to find things like oxidants or other compounds like nitrites. And it will tell us exactly how much of that is, how much of that compound is in our water, wherever that sample was taken from. We also use hand probes to test things like pH, dissolved oxygen, temperature, and uh, the pressure of gases in the water. So here at the aquarium, we tested to make sure it's close to those natural ranges. Part of the reason we do that is we use a lot of our water. We actually cycle it and clean it, and we wanna make sure that that water coming back in is that correct range still. Now, water isn't being affected only here at the aquarium. What we do outside of here at our own homes or in your home also impacts the water of our local systems. So whatever's going down our drains at home or storm drains are being washed down to our rivers. And so it's really important that we're mindful of what we're putting down there. So I'm challenging you guys at home today to go ahead and use that pH indicator test that we did on our first handout and start testing things in your home today to find out if you're adding to ocean acidification. You can learn more about that in the today's handout. And hopefully this inspires you guys to protect your waters a little bit more every day. So that is all we have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed what you learned with us. For my local Georgia teachers, we covered Georgia Standards of Excellence, S3L2A and SEV1E. Well, stay tuned for another episode coming soon, and I hope you guys have a good time. Bye.